up guys welcome back to my channel i am back with another video this video is for the sign of aquarius okay so let's get into it let's burn this sage okay don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys give me some feedback let me know if the reading resonates with you or not Sage. Get that lit. So, my chakra is already lit from my last reading. It's the sacral chakra. I'm going to um, read it to you guys to tell you what it means. But, I don't know why it's burning so slow. This chakra rules your connection with your physical self and how you perceive yourself. When open, you will have a healthy amount of self-worth and good relationships. So, that's the chakra that we're burning. That's still burning from um, the last reading that I did. So, let's go ahead and get into your reading, Aquarius. You could be um breaking up with somebody or getting out of a relationship with somebody or a marriage with somebody due to a third party situation. You could have found out that this person was cheating on you, um, dealing with somebody else, had a baby by somebody else. I see children here as well. Mm. There's definitely an ending that that's coming that um already came yeah i'm seeing something about children you even have kids right there too mm. oh wow wow you could be feeling really stabbed in the back yeah judgment you could be taking this person to court <laughs> Maybe you guys are married, you you have some legal obligations, and um, you're definitely taking this person to court for what they did to you. I see you celebrating with your friends after the fact. Okay, so clearly you will be winning in court. Yeah, this is definitely a marriage. Yep, this is definitely a marriage. Um, This person... Well, you thought this person was your person. This this person could have been a Leo. Okay. You thought um it was the equal give and take, basically. But no, this person definitely was juggling, dealing with someone else and you at the same time. Or they could have had another family with someone else. And you found out about it. Yeah, like I said, they was juggling. Look. Juggling two things at the same time. I can't make this up. Yes, this situation is causing you to have strength. Like I said, you could have been dealing with the Leo. Yep. This situation is definitely causing you to have strength. So we're going to go ahead and get some animal oracle cards. Spirit, spirit animal oracle cards. Okay. Wow. You guys, and we also at 64 subscribers. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah. I'm so happy about that. Like, I'm happy anytime I get, like, a comment. But I'd be so pressed to, you know, respond back. I like interacting. Oh, okay. Truth transcends illusions. Okay. You have the dragonfly spirit. Okay. I can't believe you got that death card as your first card. Like, that is so toxic and bad, Aquarius. Here you are showing up in your own reading again. Um, open it, open to infinite, infinite possibilities. So you might get a miracle. You may meet somebody better. Okay, you may, you may literally be leaving out of court from going to court with this person. And you meet the man of your your life to, or your dreams and. It's like sometimes when you go through things with people, it's not always a bad thing that you're going through things with them because you never know how it's helping you grow as a person or what direction is leading you in, 
leading you into. So, for example, like I was saying, it says, um, open to infinite possibilities, which was the starfish spirit, which is Aquarius, okay? Um, my thing is, what is how I'm kind of like perceiving it? Like when they when they're saying open open yourself up to infinite possibilities, you never know. You may not want to take this person to court for what happened or whatever the case may be, and you end up going to court. And you know, on your way out of court, you end up being the love of your life. You end up being somebody that's fine as wine, who is right on time, and. <laughs> who will drop anything at a dime to be with you at any time. Okay. Spirit said, clear out the clutter. You had this card as well. I forgot to read it to you. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. The miracles are endless. So, like, okay, so this person might have did you real, real dirty. But at the end, who's going to be her is him, not you, or her. Take it how it resonates. can go vice versa. They think that they got it going on because they, they really didn't even get away with nothing because they got caught. Stupid. They're really not even that smart. But they think they thought the grass was green on the other side. You gonna show them how you really how you really supposed to do it. <laughs> it say act as if. So you need to act like you're not bothered at all. Like don't be keep don't waste your time arguing with this person. Don't act as if this didn't even happen, basically. Act as if nothing even happened, like Oh, you can act as if it was to be expected. Like, okay, cool. But don't be acting out of line, like unclassy, you know, cussing this person out, sending them long paragraphs, driving by their job, driving past their house, doing all crazy girl people stuff like that. Hold on for a second. Don't be doing stuff like that. Yeah, don't be don't be like driving past their house, driving past their mama house. Leave them be with their shenanigans, they lies and they bullshit. Let them sit in their bullshit. They don't need no no um no surveillance, no supervision, straight bullshit. Surrender now. Yeah, leave leave that stuff alone, like let it go like put that stuff in god hand and in god's hands and allow god to deal with that situation like one thing about karma it will always come back to you like you can't just be putting stuff out in the universe and you don't think it's gonna come back to you it don't work like that at all at all take the lead which you had the knight of cups you definitely are going to take the lead in this situation. And you are going to be the more mature one in this situation. That's what I'm saying. If this person trying to do, like, little petty stuff to you, like, don't feed into that. Like, act as if nothing even happened. Act as if you still cool with them to reclaim your power. Don't give them your power because when you start, you know, going back and forth with them, whoopy whoopy whoop, yada, 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 yelling at them, getting out of character like them, at that point you lost your power. Like, you you ain't doing that the wrong way. The hell is you sitting there screaming to the top of your lungs and you yelling? For what? Stressing yourself out for what? Yelling at them for what? Uh-uh. Make a choice, please. Thank you. Yeah, this person definitely betrayed you. And they got you stressed out. Like, you confused. They got you all in your head. And I'm not going to tell you don't be Aquarius. Like, you have a right to feel how you feel.
spray this car came out, so I'm gonna take that. He got Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries. This is an Aquarius reading. The car definitely came out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that. You're gonna have to make a choice. Either you're gonna stay or you're gonna go. No, you gonna stay. Ain't no point in sitting there being mad all day long. Just because this person was being unfaithful. If you plan on staying, you need to forget them and move on. Don't don't sit up there and be having a mad face the whole time. And be honest, exactly. Be honest. Life changes. It's okay. Like if you at this point, if you are grown this person. And their shenanigans, and this is not the first time that you've been through this situation with this person, and them being unfaithful, and you feel like, you know what you want, fuck it. Life changes, move on. Move on, go find you somebody else, because I see in your reading here that you definitely have potential and options to go be with somebody else. Now. Not later, now. If you're not happy now, you need to go ahead and be honest with this person. Let them know, you know what? This is no longer working for me. I cannot do this no longer. And I got I have to go. I have to go. I'm not sure if you guys live together, um, have legal obligations together, but I definitely see, yeah, this person was being unfaithful. Unfaithful. This person put you in a third party situation, which caused you to have the death card. You need to be strong in the situation, even though they was juggling between you and two other people. I know it stressed you out because I'm not sure if this person who. Well, I don't feel like it's a friend. Like they was dating somebody that was your friend. Or like, like it's somebody that's your friend or something. Something about a friend. And I think maybe that's why it's more stressful and hurt for you. And Aquarius, you don't really want to be single. Like, you want to be in a relationship. Like, you like, I don't want to be by myself. Like, I could be by myself, but I don't want to be by myself. Like, no thank you. I'd rather be bunned up, you know, taken out to eat, rubbed on, kissed on, loved on. I'd rather somebody call me, you know, see how I'm doing. I get it. I definitely get it. But in order to have that, Aquarius, you need to um, be honest about how you feel in regards to the situation. And be strong. You have the Taurus card that came out as well. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Have courage in this situation. Like, move on. Move out. Do what you got to do. Change your number. Girl, move to another state. Girl. Get a new apartment. Like, get a new car. Like, get away from this person to the point where it's no longer codependent. Because I think that's another reason why I heard. Because you were very codependent on this person. Like, you depended on them. I don't know if it was financially but they was always there for you in an emergency you ever needed anything like so you depend on this person because you've been through a lot of obstacles and this person has been dead with you going through it with you um you could be working a new job right now aquarius i'm also seeing i see the leo card wanted to jump out sagittarius card balance Betrayal, awakening. Yeah, that's crazy. Definitely. You love this person very deeply, like. But guess what? Ain't that much love in the world when somebody puts you in a third party situation? How much do you love me because you put me in a situation that I don't belong in? You cannot, it's not, cannot date more than one person at the same time. I mean, okay, if you're dating, as far as having conversations, going out to eat, no sexual encounters, fine. But 
When you in a relationship, I don't think you should be doing that. I don't think that's appropriate. I don't think that's appropriate at all. Gosh, I swear to God, all my stuff. I wish these cards to be up. So when you leave this person, I got a feeling you got the lovers card. I got someone that they can be stalking you. So like I said, you was very much so deeply in love with this person. This person could also like to play like something be wrong with them, like. Oh my God, this happened just so y'all can, you know, you can talk to them or they can have, I told you, stalker, what did I say? I said stalker. You also got 444 and you got pray. So we're going to say this for the end to read for the end 444. I said, I said that this, this person could be a stalker because I was picking up. If you was like, if you was the type of person to like block him or block her, they would pretend like, they would call you from somebody else's phone and pretend like they're in a dying emergency just so they can get you to come over there to get them or be with them or some type of narcissist, crazy ass, emergency ass, fake believable ass shit. Like, what the fuck? This person is definitely crazy in love with you, Aquarius. Yeah, this person want to marry you, but you don't want to marry them. Not after they put you in that third party situation. You like, up, oh, no, time to go. That marriage shit is over. And I wouldn't marry somebody after finding out what they did like that. Hell no. Be strong. You also had the strength card. They came out in tarot. So... I'm gonna go ahead and um go ahead and let that let that simmer. You know? Let that simmer. I'm gonna pull some of these cards. What I say? You dealing with a Leo. Look at this. Dealing with a Leo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this person definitely will come in with an offer, but you don't want their goddamn offer. You don't want nothing if they got the offer. You want them to get the hell on, honestly. Like you, like look, I got my, I got my, I got what I need. I don't need nothing from you. That what I needed was the truth, and I got the truth about your raggedy ass. So you can go ahead and hang it up. Thank you. Yeah, this situation could have happened in May. With this person. This person could be a Taurus. Yeah, now this person want to be defensive. Now they want to be defensive. What you defensive about? The third party. The third party. Look, look. He want to be defensive holding up his swords and stuff. Want to be defensive. He defensive about that third party. You got the three of hearts right here and your third party right here. Like I said, this definitely is a third party situation. You got the Leo card right here and another Leo card. And this. You could be dealing with a Leo, like I said. That's crazy. What I tell you, Leo? Leo is in the month of August. August is the eighth month, right? Jane, Fred, March, April, May, June, July, August. Exactly. This is this Leo put you in a third party situation. Come on. What the fuck? Thank you, Spirit. Well, clarifying is with these wall cards. Yeah, this definitely happened in May. Yeah, something happened in May. With your boy 
and he's trying to act like ain't nothing happened. And you kind you already know what happened. That's that's the tricky part about it. Like you already know what happened, Aquarius. This is like that's why you calling it a quiz. That's why you breaking it up with breaking up with this person and you had the death card. You definitely gonna leave him in the desk as you should. Hello. So I'm gonna clean this up so I can pull two more cards from out of my um, spirit animal oracle deck for you. And I'm gonna read what four 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 means for you as well. Four for four for you guys as well. Don't forget to hit that um subscribe button, guys, and leave me some comments down below. Don't forget that this is a general reading; it's not a personal reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, it's so many other readers here on YouTube that you can check out to see if you might resonate with them. So, go check them out. Okay. Go see how they do what they do, how they do what they do, how they do it. Okay, and tell me what you get. Give me some, some feedback. A rebirth is assured. The bat spirit, number five, exactly after what happened in uh, May. Be at home, wanting to come out. These cards are so big. Love is all around, Aquarius. Okay. Love is all around. So there are some people who do genuinely love you and care about you still outside of this person who was being real nasty. Okay, we're going to take that. Spirit want to give you that, so we'll take that. And close out your reading. Excuse me. Clear out the clutter. Oops. Clear out the clutter. Okay. Frog spirit. Learn from the past. So whatever you found out about this person, you definitely need to learn from it. Time to heal. It's going to take time for you to heal from the situation. And give yourself time to heal. Don't just jump yourself back out there. You know, don't just sit up there and, you know, bottle all your feelings up. Hold all your feelings. And, like, if you feel like you need to cry, go ahead and cry. Like, don't sit up there and just keep being in your head about it and thinking about it. That's why I think you had to clear out the clutter. Like, go ahead and cry. Like, cry that stuff out. Like, have yourself a good cry. Use your mind wisely. Exactly, like, clear clear your mind. Like, I want to pull, like, two more cards for you real quick. Because I kind of feel bad for you guys. I don't know why I just picked up. Somebody found this out on their birthday that somebody was shooting on them. This and that are true. So, yeah, whatever you found out. It is definitely true. So you don't have to keep thinking like, am I tripping? Did that really happen? Should I not have did that? I'm not sure if you went through somebody's phone or, you know, somebody Instagram, DM, something. Open it to inf infinite possibilities. So you should not begin the starfish, Aquarius. So this is definitely a reading. Um, whatever you find out about this person and this relationship is true, that's why you're breaking up with them or they're breaking up with you. So, can I resonate? I don't know if you did something bad. Okay, so 444 deals with balance and security, it represents home, 
the solid foundations and the warm and calm feeling it invokes. Angel number 444 vibrates the message of responsibility and practicality as well as honesty and wisdom. Okay, so that was your reading, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. I would like so much for you guys' feedback. Um, I like to communicate and get advice from you guys on how you would like to, you know, like the readings to go, how long you would like them, what more would you like to see, what deck of cards you would like for me to use. Um, I just like to be more involved with my supporters. So I would like for you guys to very much so comment down below and subscribe. And you can share the video if you would like to. So, again, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, that's it. <laughs>